Hi, and welcome back to another episode of The Public Law, right here at TammyPepperman.org. As you're hearing us on No Borders Radio, also at NoBordersRadio.co.uk.com. This is just a, a, an awe-striking um, experience. Of course, this is Independence Day. And let us go over to the Etymology Dictionary online. Etym online. Independent. It's an adjective, meaning not the opposite of dependent. Way back when, Congress came in and said you were in a pending state, declared you dead, according to 20 or 38 U.S.C. 108, subsection 108, seven-year absence, presumption of death. It's in the bag, isn't it? Each time you register, each time you go into that core, each time you participate and partake of that tree of knowledge, you are entered into civil death. You're abjuring the realm. You've given up the kingdom. Your garden went off to the snake in it. And you didn't even get a t-shirt. And yet you celebrate your independence. As we can hear all around tonight as people are letting off fireworks, and standing under that pirate flag, those bars, those bars, oh my gosh, those bars. It's amazing how the mind can be so convoluted, so perverted, so twisted, so turned by none other than the attorney. Now, of course, Congress is being held accountable for its works. So they've not only jumped ship in the United States Incorporated, they've not only jumped ship and declared bankruptcy under the United States of America, that chain of events, congressional actions, that is the perpetual union, that is the perpetual action of genocide, eugenics program, as brought to you by none other than the United States Incorporated moving about the globe to take over everywhere. I noticed that the Rand Corporation is on the ground in the Ukraine. RT is reporting today from RT.com leak plan on East Ukraine suggests inter internment camps and executions. A leaked memo suggests that Ukrainian government should engage in an all-out war in the East including placing citizens in internment camps and killing all who resist such actions. Rand Corporation Think Tank, however, denies producing such document. Of course they do. As Rand McNally, they've been introducing you to education and artificial intelligence, as brought to you by the Senate Intelligence Committee. The chair of which we speak is Diane Feinstein herself the voice of feminism, that political tool of redistribution, the voice of gun control, and the voice of, oh my goodness, the NSA is spying on Congress, although Congress is its director. Diane Feinstein, of course, pulls levers on all of these actions, along with her cohorts. And it's all sewn up really, really nicely with her, Corden, and others on the Senate Judiciary Committee. Oh, this is out in the open. Every one of their acts are written. The criminal actions are written in stone. They're called acts of Congress. It's all the evidence we need, folks. What more do you want? You have their directives. The 1947 National Security Act says that human beings are the enemy of the state. What more do you need? They've been found guilty of genocide. It's in their acts. Nothing's hidden. Everything's revealed. 
and I'll continue reading from the RT. In the shocking letter, which has been leaked to online media, the advice offers a step-by-step -step brutal guide in how to deal with the population in eastern Ukraine. The authenticity of the document, which bears the RAND Corporation logo, however, could not be independently verified. Independent, not opposite of a pending state. I don't want Congress to verify its criminal activity. I can already see it. I'm already witness to the criminal activity. Do I need it certified by one of their own? Do I need them to come out and admit, oh, you caught me. That's like asking Charles Manson to facilitate his own court process. It's like asking Charles Manson to find himself guilty of murder. And it's like asking Charles Manson by patriotism to please, please, please stop doing what you're doing. Oh, please. Rather than holding them accountable for their works. Which is a requirement. It's an obligation of all humanity to protect the children. And as Congress goes out into every corner of the globe, civilization, it must be stopped. These attorneys are a plague on mankind. You were waiting for a plague. It's been upon us forever. This is what these things do. This is what they do. They kill. They exterminate. They dispose of human beings efficiently, professionally, according to the Ethics Commission and the FDA contracts. They're nothing more than professionalism, uh, utmost professionalism in the way that they use human test subjects. Well, the media has been reporting on all of these things, and lo and behold, from the NRIA.ru today, Ukraine opens criminal case against Russia Segodnaya head security service. Sorry if I, I know I killed that word. Um, I'm not very up and up with uh, the Russian tongue. In Kiev on July 4th, that's today, Independence Day, Ukraine has opened a criminal case against the Director General of the International Information News Agency, the head of the Security Service of Ukraine, SBU, said Friday. Let me translate that for you. The CIA is being investigated by the FBI. The FBI, of course, is the military for Congress. The CIA has always been the production company on the ground, but they don't know this. They're only directed by Congress. They're directed by Dianne Feinstein. And the same happened with the Bundy Ranch fiasco just a little while ago. VLM was on the ground. FBI was on the ground vilifying citizens and cops back and forth, promoting civil war. Promoting civil war. Because, you know, Congress doesn't make any money if you don't hate your brothers. If they can't pitch you against each other, what good is war? What good is peace and all these agreements, these treaties? If they can't pitch you against each other, they would lose. Of course, eight stages of genocide include classification and dehumanization. It's always a good read knowing how they get one over on you and it's so simple to simply divest yourself of all that possesses you jesus said and he said it over and over and over again get rid of all those concepts get rid of all those titles stop buying from the tree of knowledge stop partaking stop eating those concepts interestingly enough from english.pravda.ru washington's war crimes spread from Africa and the Middle East to Ukraine. Putin is saying that Congress is evil. Putin is saying, help me. They're trying to take over my country. 
You've got the FBI and the CIA on the ground and we're tired of this. A world leader crying out for help. I have a lien on all their assets as the United States. I'm going as quickly as I can as the United States. The citizenship has to stop patronizing this thing. It's killing everybody. There's not one place that it hasn't touched through the International Monetary Fund through the United Nations, through its peacekeeping missions. Of course, peace means PAX, P-A-X, pact, treaty agreements, contracts with each other, confederated states, leagues, incorporated states, by articles of incorporation, although it's known as articles of confederation, Articles of constitutional theory, articles of agreement, articles of co incorporation. These are corporate documents just growing a business model. It used to be known as a livery company, it takes delivery of farm animals. And of course, under 7 U.S.C., humanity, man is included in those animals under the agricultural laws. But don't shoot the messenger. I have been yelled at, I've been screamed at, I've been bitched at and cried upon. Because there's people who don't want to be called an animal. I'm not calling you an animal. You're codified under acts of agriculture. You're also codified in the Preservation Acts, 16 U.S.C. Chapter 7. That one's always a fun read because Clinton came in and he grew the power of the presidency in that one. He's right there, documented, granting himself when he was president more power. Nobody ever reads the Acts. You're never going to get it. You're never going to catch them if you don't read those acts. The, the evidence of their works are in them. All of the criminal activity has been written from inception to extension. Everything's always written. There's nothing hidden. Absolutely nothing hidden. From the IP today, priest convicted of killing nun dies in prison, bigstory.ap.org. Columbus, Ohio, a Catholic priest convicted of killing a nun inside a chapel a day before Easter in 1980, died Friday at a Columbus prison hospice unit a day after a federal judge refused his request to be released to family care so he could die in his hometown of Toledo. Attorney Richard Kruger said the Reverend Gerald Robinson's sister-in-law told him the priest died Friday morning. Quote, I'm sure he's in a better place. Robinson, 76, had been serving a sentence of 15 years to life in what church historians have characterized as the, quote, only documented case of a Catholic priest killing a nun. Or probably official reports. We could use that word, too. The only official report. I know of tale upon tale of priests raping nuns in India, raping nuns in, in uh, convents, because that's the action of induction. They do it all the time. And we know this by 700, 800, 1600, 3000, 10,000, 15,000 dead and buried children, adults at these locations. It's, it's always the same. It's part of the action of genocide is denial. Denying that these things can occur because, you know, they're dressed up so pretty in those robes and dressed up so pretty in their charitable contributions. 
Well, on the back end, they're doing the most horrifying things upon humanity. And that's what it enables it. It's like Chester the Molester. And he doesn't have to troll all, all around in his car anymore looking for kitties. He's got after-school programs that are federally funded by Congress. He's got movies and lots and lots of candy. Lots of things to give your children in order to induce them into all variants of productivity. These priests, they have very specific functions in a business model. It's interesting how these things go. And I'm going to take a break for just one second here. And we'll be back in about three and a half minutes. Stick around, folks. And welcome back to the public law right here at TammyPepperman.org. As for on No Borders Radio. Oh, my goodness. And again, once again, it's Independence Day. And both should be joining us in a little while here. Uh, lots and lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Uh, we already covered the Catholic priest monster there. Uh, Prime Minister visits Kashmir today. According to the New York Times and the Associated Press, Prime Minister Modi on Friday made his first official trip to Indian-controlled Kashmir, where separatist groups called a strike that shut shops, businesses, and schools. Mr. Modi, Mo Modi inaugurated a railway line. Doesn't that sound familiar, the railroad consortium? And, of course, he's the Prime Minister of what exactly? Because the English crown hasn't existed since the United Kingdom, which is an oxymoron. And of course, the railway, railroad consortium is Congress through the port authorities. And we move post to post to post to post to post, collecting prisoners of war through the Red Cross, such as the Red Cross, not only the Red Cross. Established in 1864 with the Geneva Convention, establishing the Red Cross as a place to store prisoners of war. Of course, the little uh, general there would be Ban Ki-moon, with control over the hospitals as banks. And this is according to the Dictionaries of Commerce and Navigation, which were the first congressional records. For all of those who are not familiar with such writs and writings, nobody ever wants to read a dictionary, but I urge everybody to do so. Dictionary of Commerce and Navigation. Shipping. Of course, the quote American flag stems from that good old British East Indian Trading Corporation flag, the same pirates trafficking humanity throughout history. One time it was Portugal, Spain, France, Italy. They all came together at the Treaty of Westphalia where Rome merged into what you know as this livery corporation called the United States of America, the United States Incorporated, and all of its states bankrupt, depraved, pretended to be sovereign. I've never seen an example ever that it was ever acting under public acts rather than acts of commerce and private acts which disallows sovereignty uh, under the any interpretation of of international law, rules of war, common law, case law, admiralty, maritime. There's there's not one that allows it to uh, operate in a in a sovereign capacity because it is not, nor has it ever acted as to the public acts. And there's you know further evidence of this can be seen at GAO itself, the government. Uh, accountability office and then of course we have the rail safety 
And this is the GAO-14-85 published December 9, 2013. Publicly released December 9, 2013. Improved human capital planning could address emerging safety oversight challenges. What GAO found? The Federal Railroad Administration, or FRA Rail Safety Oversight Framework, relies on inspections to ensure railroads comply with federal safety regulations, of course. And it's all printed up in here, but you should really read it, of course, because it uh, refers to you, human capital. Cap it stems from the word head. You are on a perpetual drive into that kill shoot on the farm. And uh, you can find this at gao.gov forward slash products forward slash gao dash 14 dash 85. These are interesting days, of course, as we get closer and closer and closer to that goal to heaven where where the kingdom is no longer shut up by these criminal conspirators absolutely disgusting absolutely disgusting there's no word that describes how horrifying they are it's about as bad as it gets folks uh, you're living and reliving and reliving Nazi Germany over and over and over again you lived it as Vietnam and Japan and you've lived it as um, Cambodia and you lived it as Korea and you've just been through all of these war theaters put on by none other than Congress as these productions get better and get worse and it's just so foul Absolutely disgusting. So earlier I was mentioning the um, codification of human beings as animals under the uh, 7 U.S. Code. It's actually 7 U.S. Code subsection 136 D. Let's see. D. The uh, definition of animal. The term animal means all vertebrate and invertebrate species, including but not limited to man and other mammals, birds, fish, and shellfish. And of course being on a farm means that you're going to produce nicely. So you would want to then read human capital documentation from GAO, from GAO, and related information. And of course uh, one of the most imperatives would be the Treatise on Education by Emil or by or or Emil by Rousseau. Sorry about that, folks. Um, let's see. I had one up earlier, and I must have closed it here. Oh no, here it is. Okay, so. Tonight I wanted to get more into the uh, social engineering aspect or civil engineering aspect of humanity as it's known today. You have all these political parties and all of these things and bells and whistles. Sadly, it's it's called a social institution stemming from the psychological experiment. The title of this one from American Psychological Administration, Psychiatric Administration, sorry. It's called The Origins of the Psychological Experiment as a Social Institution. It's written by Kat Kurt Danziger, York University, Toronto, Canada. The psychological experiment involves a set of institutionalized role patterns that have evolved historically. This evolution can be studied by anal analyzing published experimental reports. From the beginning, there were two models for the social structure of the psychological experiment, the Leipzig and the Paris model. 
The latter emerged in the context of work on experimental hypnosis and involved a rigid, rigid social differentiation between experimenter and subject. By contrast, the Leipzig model involved the interchangeability of experimenter and subject roles. American investigators adopted both these models, but also introduced more impersonal and less intensive relations between experimenters and subjects. And you can find this in as to the application of fourth-generation warfare, low-intensity conflict, and by studying Stasi, the German Stasi, it was the same thing. And again, that one is called The Origins of the Psychological Experiment as a Social Institution by Kurt Danziger, D-A-N-Z-I-G-E-R, from York University, Toronto, Canada. That's a very interesting read. Uh, it says it's eight pages. Uh, let me look at the end and see if I got the whole thing. This was put out in February 1985 from American Psychologist. See. So, moving on, um, let me grab some more here. Um, sorry about that, Forbes. Doing a whole bunch of different things. Uh, the targeting and the. Um, an ex-member of the R&B group High Five arrested in death today. Former member of the 1990s R&B group High Five has been arrested in the stabbing death of his wife in Houston. This is reported on thebigstory.ap.org as well. Police say 40-year-old Russell Neal walked into a Harris County Sheriff's Office on Wednesday and told authorities his wife was dead at their home. Police say he was arrested and made no further comment. Now that's awfully... Uh, indicative of a mentoring candidate. I want more follow-up on this one as um, the whole thing sounds really weird. It says that uh, Houston police say 24-year-old Catherine Martinez was stabbed multiple times and pronounced dead at the scene and you know unless he was a, an effeminate male psychopath it's not likely that that occurred that way. Um, Perhaps something else is going on in the background, and uh, really, I'd like more uh, information, more evidence on this. Uh, concerning to me today, and we've had all of this hoopla with Congress coming in and changing of the guards on the uh, Veterans Administration, and yet again from the AP this morning, I was reading at bigstory.ap.org, veteran dies waiting for ambulance in VA hospital. Again. Again. There is no change. Absolutely no change. Veterans are still dying. This is how my father died. At one point, years ago, years ago, this is several years ago, when they decided that they were ready to redistribute his personal assets, he had gone into the VA in um, uh, Seattle or wherever. I don't remember. He was living in eastern Washington at the time. but um, He had gone in because he thought he was having a heart attack, of course. And they said, no, no, you're fine. You're fine. Well, he ended up going to Cadillac Medical Center in Richland, Washington. And he got there and they said, thank goodness for us because you were right in the middle of a heart attack. Well, thank goodness because, you know, then the VA didn't cover his insurance, so he had to pay out of pocket. And that's how everybody is redistributed. You see how that works, folks? It's a corporation. Everybody is a product. And of course, my dad died last year in March after a very extensive path as a human test subject. A Vietnam veteran, having been exposed to Agent Orange, of course, throughout the years, they said he had diabetes. And when he came home from Vietnam, he went into the main, of course, worked for Atkins Construction for years, building bridges. He worked for Hanford, came out of that one with 
in the beginning, what they called pleural plaques, and in the end, what they called asbestosis and mesothelioma, the cancer caused by Dow Chemical Corporation, and their use of the um, all the uh, inflammable stuff, and I can't remember what it is right now. The little fibers. Uh, it's it's quite amazing to have witnessed throughout the years how veterans are treated and of course I've got several conversations up uh, one of them sadly was uh, Patrick we were able to save his house but it, up until the point when when he found us he, he was deployed and he came home after fighting for quote a country and the second he got home of course he's registering his DD-214 at the county recorder's office saying, yep, I'm a product. And, and these folks are told to do these things when they get out of these situations. Why would you do that? It's a deed. You're transferring ownership of that property again. So he gets out and he finds himself in family court because his ex-wife has falsely accused him because, of course, he served in a war. So he's vilified and considered armed and dangerous. He gets his ch children taken off of him. He loses everything he's ever known. Of course, this is the story of Job. And at the end, they were trying to take his house off of him that he had inherited from his dad, interpleading into his estate. And nowhere, nowhere was he protected by the Soldiers and Sailors Act, the stuff, presentations that are put on. I've watched for years this, this McCain guy. John McCain is just, he's vicious. He's done worse things to veterans than Obama ever would or could. In his own hand. John McCain is out reclaiming everything for Congress under the Reclamation Acts. And they've altered and perverted every sense of everything made everything filthy and uh, just a muck everything's a muck and uh, we need to get back to relativity here and I'm here to do whatever it takes whatever it takes that being said this noise around us tonight is something else isn't it it's it's uh, found that so many people are celebrating their their pending states. I think we've got Bo with us. Bo, are you here? Yeah, no kidding. They're all out there, you know, making a bunch of noise, hooping and hollering, driving their loud motorcycles, setting up fireworks, loud cars, driving all around. Woohoo! It's so good to live in. America, home of the slave. Just ridiculous, pathetic, makes me sick and ill at the same time. I wore black. I had to go out and work. And um, just had to observe the uh, festivities, bite my tongue. Nobody knows what independence means. Nobody knows what it's really all about on the corporate media. Traveling to and fro, then um, they're talking about the uh, founding fathers, the Washington, the Jefferson, you know, and then uh, they fast forward a bit to Abraham Lincoln. Not once they mention the fact that Abraham Lincoln was an attorney, by the way. Or Craig reporter for Don Bradley. Oh gosh, no! If they're not gonna, if they're not gonna say he was a an, an attorney, or even use the nice word lawyer, they're not gonna talk about him being a credit reporter for Dun and Bradstreet. You, you can go right to the Dun and Bradstreet website and read this thing, and it tells tells you right there in their own reporting. So he was over there snitching on all the human capital and pledges uh, for uh, the credit reporting of the good old U.S. of A, a style, a the confederacy. New, the new bar, the British Accreditation Registry. It wasn't that bar before. 
You know, the bar, of course, before it was perverted, was actually a standard. A bar. It wasn't an act of piracy or something written on a flag or any other. It wasn't a capture or a caption on a document either. It wasn't a, a court process that maintained the use of the action of piracy under a case caption on a document. There were none of these concepts. Well, the so the expert on Washington there uh, said that uh, the uh, cherry tree thing was a fabrication, and um, <laughs> not that Washington was. Yeah, not that George Washington <laughs> was a fabrication himself. I don't know. I, I'm up in the air about that. I mean, who knows? It's 230 some odd years ago. I wasn't there. You know, all we had to trust is these books handed down to us by the same people who are enslaving us to this global banking schematic now. So, who are you going to trust, you know? And, uh, but anyways, they were saying his teeth were not wood. They were actually made out of, uh, uh, hippopotamus ivory and, uh, human teeth. And they would rot, and they would look like wood. So they weren't really wood teeth, I guess, is what he was saying. But like I said, who knows? I mean, if there was no, you know, man named George Washington, you, there was no uh, teeth in the first place to be spoken of. But Right. But it's a great presentation, according to the Gelmhausen Charter. You guys are going to forget about this anyway. They're talking about what a war strategist he was and a master of deception. Uh, just that, uh, you know, he advertised that he was going to attack New York or something like that, but they moved down south to actually uh, hit New Jersey, I guess, in that onslaught. But anyways, the whole, the whole thing's a, a, just a, a scam, and you, you can't look at what they say. All you can look is at the, the uh, evidence of the congressional action... And all these codes and statutes and laws they passed, and you know everything puts in together, put you know it's put together like a big uh, jigsaw puzzle of how your enslavement goes. And that's really got how you got to look at it, because that's what it is. The Declaration of Independence, okay, was a uh, declaration that. Congress agreed amongst themselves to make, right? And um, the word independence, again, looking at the etymology, it's not opposite of de dependent. And uh, it fits right in with the civil death aspect of when you look at the real de uh, definition of it, you know, to put the uh, populace in a pending state. Uh, to be administered, and um, you know, before that they had the Bill of Rights, which was, a, which was a bill of reviver. It's a revival of the whole congressional uh, thing, you know, that uh, basically the reorganization of Rome under the Treaty of Westphalia, 1648. All right, here comes this group of attorneys. Call themselves Congress. We're your founding fathers. We're going to give you all these liberties and freedoms and even got a set of Bill of Rights that we're going to give to you. Bill of Rights, Reviver, when you look in Black's Law, says, In equity practice, one which is brought to continue a suit which has abated before its final consummation, as, for example, by death, or marriage of a female plaintiff. Yay, we get a daddy, and it's going to come in and continue the suit for us after it declares us in a pending state with the Declaration of Independence. So here we are at the Declaration of Independence and the Bill of Rights. Prostitutes, one and all. 
I would have been offended, you know, if I had, you know, this knowledge back then and someone came along and says, hey, we're going to allow you to write a free speech. Or I'd be like, WTF, excuse me? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think you have the ability to, uh, the, the, for the assignment to grant me anything. Oh yeah, but what if they had war being perpetrated against you? What if they had arms and, and at first you didn't have free speech? You know, and that's what they were dealing with then. Yeah. It was, or, yeah, psychological it was, warfare. Right, and an actual war. Right now we're in fourth generation warfare. The first generation is when they're hitting us with with uh, the uh, uh, use of military force. Guns and bombs and all of these things, and that's what they're doing right now in, in the Ukraine. Again. And they're doing right now in Syria. And then Syria is going to take up a constitution, and it just goes on and on and on and on, just like they did with Israel, just like they did with Palestine, just like they did with Pakistan and Afghanistan and India. Every place that these attorneys have gone to has a constitution. Well, we know of their constitutional drafters' handbooks, their constitutional drafters' uh, kits, yeah, now, I, I showed that in a video I made the other day called Lord God Satan. I didn't really explain too much about it. I plan to go back to uh, revisit that. Because people really need to understand that they have these uh, constitutional drafters' handbooks all ready to go, you know, after, uh, after the war. It's like, uh, here we go. We got to, here's the method we set up constitutions for you, uh, people in your country <laughs> and you're gonna love it you're gonna be able to grant all these things to these plebeians you're gonna of course you'll be uh, paying your taxes uh, to uh, IRS like uh, Israel does As we found out here uh, there's a tax treaty in place since 19 75 I believe it is and uh, you know so we've got all these entities like Israel paying taxes and uh, turns out that uh, Netanyahu is just clergy for the Israel division of Congress and then you got uh, Al Qaeda keeping their tax receipts or their you know the expenses uh, you know they're worried about getting them um, you know, uh, gosh, it was that one story I looked at. It had light bulbs and all these little things in there, you know. I guess it all adds up, but this is Al-Qaeda, you know, writing off these things for their taxes. Right, they don't want one of those IRS liens. Heck no. IRS, you know, Al-Qaeda doesn't want to violate any of its contractual agreements with Congress. They got a good thing going on. They're getting 0.82% of all productivity, according to the Small uh, Government Loan Service, which is now called the Small Gov or Small Business Administration, SBA.gov. You can go there and, and look up the debenture participation program, and when you're buying that apple from that tree, those concepts, you're guaranteed 0.82%. Not even 1% of your own productivity. And again, we go back to prostitution. Yay! We all got a pimp at the Declaration of Independence and the Bill of Rights. How is it working out for you, Bo? Yeah, well, it's making me sicker in my stomach every day. I have to look at this stuff and see all these sheeple. Now, someone was... Um, Saying that sheeple is an antiquated term, I don't think so. No, it means falsely led sheep people. And they're being led down all these paths, all these ways to go by what's perpetrating as false shepherds. Diane Feinstein and Johnny Cornyn, Joseph Biden, and Barack Obama, Patrick Leahy, all of these predators. All of these pedophiles leading everybody as a shepherd. They are sheeple. They're falsely led sheep. 
Yeah, it's about as sickening as hearing a, you know, who would you rather have as your, your president? Well, it's just uh, one slave master or another. They're still a slave master. Uh, I love to see them really just tearing Hillary Clinton to shreds. Uh, you know, why are these people still hanging around? A bunch of lad attacks. Uh, you know, we would look for them up and down, left and right, all around, trying to find proof of life here in our case against this federal state. All they evidenced themselves to be was uh, human traffickers and, and uh, uh, you know, guilty of genocide. Uh, who needs that? They're the ones that are, you know, the, the, the Senate, uh, the Security Council, I believe it is, is the ones that have oversight over the CIA. Intelligence Committee, yeah. Intelligence Committee. Right. Okay, you know, Diane Feinstein's on that, and um, Patch. uh, Patrick Leahy, uh, you know, and, and, and so that story a while back, I still can't get over that. Diane Fien said, oh, I'm being terrorized by the IRS or, uh, no, the uh, NSA or CIA or who was bugging her back then. You know, last year we did um, a declaration out of the House of Alsop, and um, I, I don't know if we've spent too much time on that one. I was going to ask if you can read this uh, because we celebrate something different than the United States of America, don't we? Well, it's hard to celebrate much at all with all this stuff going on. Um, well, last year they, this, were uh, they were declared dead last year. But this is uh, one that we sent over to the clearinghouse, which you people recognize um, under the title of the uh, Secretary of State, who um, right now John Forbes Carey is head over uh, the Secretary of State. And uh, anyway, so uh, this was the... Uh, Basically, conclusion of the United States District Court case, as far as we're concerned, because um, this is after we already evidenced what they were, and it says to whom it concerns. As evidence herein, cause number 313 CV 052 in both United States District Court and United States Court, lower case, all right. Because we had established our own court through the uh, the process of this case. I mean, we met all the requirements and uh, took our beating by the United States District Court and found out that they were just a bunch of attorneys or no judges. Okay? So we condemned their courts. And this is all part of that. And um, so after numerous attempts to find Congress, Senate, judges, attorneys, and bankers, we were unable to evidence life uh, slash be living, okay, which is the language right out of the Sestake Viac, wherein judgment must render them dead as per 1666, chapter 11, 18, 19, cha 2. CHA2, that's, uh, I'm not sure, uh, chapter. Chap chapter 2, okay, so chapter 2, 11, 18, and 19, basically. An act for redress of inconveniences by want of proof of deceases of persons beyond the seas or absenting themselves upon whose lives estates do depend. Sestake Vi remaining beyond the sea for seven years together and no proof 
of their lives, judges or a judge in action to direct a verdict as though Sesta K. Vi were dead. Okay, so we found them dead in the same manner as they declared and found all of the people dead after the uh, fire in London there where all the records were destroyed and uh, used the own, their own language right out of the Sesta K. Vi Act. If such persons, if such person, or persons for whose life or lives such estates have been or shall be granted as aforesaid shall remain beyond the seas or elsewhere absent themselves in this realm by the space of seven years together and no sufficient and evident proof be made of the lives of such person or persons respectively in any action commenced for recovery of such tenements by the lessers or the revisioners in every such case the person or persons upon whose life or lives such estate depends shall be accounted as naturally dead and in every action brought for the recovery of the said tenements by the lessers or revisioners, their heirs or assigns, the judges before whom such action shall be brought shall direct the jury to give the verdict as if the persons so remain beyond the sea or otherwise absenting himself were dead. Upon judgment made, Secretary of the State shall clear the books as per 38 U.S.C. section 108, which is the uh, seven-year presumption of death clause in the United States Code, which is basically the recodification of the Sesta K. Vi Act, and any and all communication response correspondence shall be sent to, and that was uh, to be sent back to uh, the United States Court Clerk. Right? Because we have the mechanisms in place now of our own court okay there's been no attempts to uh, arrest us for these actions we did everything lawfully and uh, they don't have a leg to stand on anymore their courts are condemned there is no sign of any life in these courts they're all just administrative courts uh, places of business set up under the 1789 uh, Judiciary Act, and you know where they were they were created to be uh, places of business. All right, and um, <laughs> there are no judges in these courts, so we condemn them. All the courts. Are condemned okay everything they're doing now operating in these courts oh, excuse me everything they're doing now is just all uh, smoke and mirrors absolutely and um, it's been very interesting that they're trying so quickly to move into the Ukraine uh, they're not welcome in the Ukraine either now I have a lien on the Ukraine, I have a lien on all of these assets as a clerk of not only the House of Alsop, clerk, clergy of the House of Alsop, but also the clerk of the United States Court. Now of course our court has always had standing, and that is a requirement. It involves real beings instead of fictional plaintiffs, and that is something that Congress is apparently um, not realizing it is a fiction Congress the House of Representatives Senate an attorney an attorney in a black dress and the simulated legal process that they put on under a marquee or a large tent um, it, it just, uh, it's all fictional. 
every aspect and in reality since inception they have been civilly dead they're, they're not there um, they are to be held in contempt um, of course the House of Lords is, is well aware of these things and, and I thought it was so profound this week to see uh, Congress actually attempting to ask the House of Lords for immunity this week among other things and of course they're not going to get it uh, the House of Lords of course has all of this evidence of the embezzlement out of the Treasury uh, the national state has all of the evidence of the embezzlement out of the national state and there's one perpetrator one culprit of all of these criminal actions upon every aspect of not only humanity but civilization and society as a whole in this construct in this sociological uh, psychological experiment known as the United States of America which is a style it's a chain of events a eugenics program program and um, it has been quite interesting to see them try to wiggle out of everything and of course Jesus said in Matthew 23 you know you could try but that's not going to work out for you he said you're going to tell me oh if only I was in the days of my father if only no you know what you were doing you know one of the most uh, hilarious aspects was when we served the United States Senate now the, the House of Representatives, you know, accepted their service and took it like a man, but but not said it. You remember that one? <laughs> yeah, that one there uh, said it had stickers on it, tape back up after it had been, uh, uh, you know, just uh, looks like it had been thrown around quite a bit. Uh, well, at any, at any rate, the sticker said the open... Um, by the Senate post system, or I, I have to look at that one. An what, open for inspection. Yeah, open for <laughs> inspection by the Senate um, post office or something. There, there is no such thing as a Senate post office, right. folks. And it, it doesn't matter. Senate got it. They got their their summon, and and uh, they didn't like what it had to say, and and. No, they didn't like it at all. No. I didn't like having to. Uh, you know, uh, scrounge up all the uh, Federal Reserve notes and have to pay the post office to deliver all these things. But we delivered like, I don't know, 17 of them, I think, like that. And uh, Originally, we ended up with, what, thousands of dollars into uh, service and... and um, yeah, that's all part of the due diligence. Absolutely. Um, now we got more or less some... Uh, other ways of communicating and uh, we've uh, streamlined our communication process with the entities that need to be communicated with here and, and that, there'll be more about that uh, in the shows to come you know but you know a lot of the stuff well first of all the case is already done they've already been found guilty of these things uh, well, before that, we had we had already established our court, and our court was recognized and by sure. the House of Representatives. Right. And do you want to read the order, the genocide order from last year? Because a lot of our new listeners haven't heard that one. Or do you want to just refer them over to Boners Entertainment? Because you have heard it before. Um, or I can read it, or... What do you want to do? Because it, it is independent. Yeah, it, well, it is quite, uh, it's kind of a, a lot to read. Um, and I did read it uh, and archive it on YouTube. Um, and we can hit some of the key points of it, I guess. Um, these matters having come before the United States Court on October 28, 2013, by joining her parties united containing identical and concurrent jurisdiction stemming from criminal acts this court is understood as evidence and acknowledged by the US Department of State John Forbes Carey vice president of the United States incorporated Joseph Biden president of the Senate United States of America Senate and House of Representatives Ed Perlmutter House of Representatives Central Intelligence Agency Jim Hines House of Representatives, John Banner, 
House of Representatives and J. Rockefeller Senate Department of Commerce on behalf of the aforementioned defendants. Which, of course, the defendants now uh, read as U.S. Inc., United States of America, regarding the following Food and Drug Administration, Freebird Ethics Commission, that's Fichi for short. House of Representatives, United States Senate, Office of Population Affairs, as the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Dr. Henry Kissinger, which of course uh, I had to spell wrong, but makes no difference, Broadcasting Board of Governors, Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, U.S. Department of Education, Department of Transportation, State of Indiana, State of uh, St. Joseph County, St. Joseph Regional Medical Center, Trinity Health International, Andrew P. Seward, Corporation Council, Association of Corporate Council, St. Joseph County Board of Commissioners, Michael P. Scopolitis, David C. Chaplo, The Bank, Judith L. Fox, Assessor of Real Property, Philip P. Simon, The Bank. Okay, Chaplo was uh, the bank at the... Uh, uh, state level, okay, for the uh, county court uh, entries, and then Philip P. Simon, then now is when we took it to U.S. District Court. He was the uh, U.S. District Court so called judge. Uh, Michael Bronecki, real property broker. Mike Chabot, real property broker, United States Postal Service. The National Science Foundation, U.S. Government Printing Office, Department of Energy, NIPSCO, and all other public utilities, also known as Sesta K Trust, stemming from Massachusetts Land Trust through action of embezzlement. Uh, Clerk of St. Joseph County Superior Court, Terry Rethlake. Uh, Clerk of United States District Court, Robert Trigovic. Department of Commerce, Patent and Trademark. WIPO, that's the World Intellectual Property Association, CIA, Central Intelligence Agency, John O'Brennan, Director, International Psycho, uh, Psychoanalytical Association, International Corrections and Prison Associations. Now, within the realm of all those entities, uh, covers... Uh, Basically, uh, the United States Incorporated uh, as a whole, okay, or U.S. Inc., United States of America, et al., okay, they're all joined at the hip through uh, acts of enablement. Anyways, where and upon evidence of low-intensity conflict operations, co-conspirators via psychological warfare known as hearts and minds by which the United States Incorporated is actively engaging in and promoting genocide through the Food and Drug Administration also known as the FDA maintaining contracts with the Freeburg's Ethics Commission International once again Fiji by and through congressional action of the US Senate and House of Representatives 16 U.S.C. Chapter 7, and the Office of Population Affairs, otherwise known as the Department of Health and Human Services, established in 1975 by Dr. Henry Kissinger as a depopulation pogrom, Memorandum 200 to the National Security Council, enabled through Act of Congress of the U.S. Senate and the House of Representatives entitled the 1947 National Security Act, 50 U.S.C. Chapter 15, okay, uh, and, and uh, Title 50 is under uh, uh, um, help me out here. Um, Ooh, I can't figure that 1950, out. that's the uh, Department of Defense, okay, right. that's uh, Department of Defense, uh-oh. Okay, we got to go to uh, War uh, and National Defense. Right, War and National Defense. All right, I just couldn't think of the actual.
actual title here for a second. Okay, but uh, see title 50, you'll see it's more of the same. Anyways, further evidencing the use of hearts and minds as fourth generation warfare via the color of an illusion of decentralization, implication of long-term terrorism, the use of cultures, religious indoctrination, media manipulation through the Broadcasting Board of Governors, the BBG, maintaining international control of all civil media, lawfare, psychological warfare via political, economic, social, and military pressure upon humankind. Now, we evidenced all these things. We're not pulling this stuff out of a rectum. We actually evidenced it, and uh, the rest of it is in their own uh, admissions through all their congressional action. The schematic generating a uh, revenues in the criminal action of embezzlement, okay, through the Treasury, in other words, through legal mechanisms to impart upon the uh, human mind concepts wherein these vessels are constantly and consequently being altered of their heading uh, 46 United States Code Chapter 311 and 313. Okay, via advertising of monumental sort and consortium. The back end, insurance with, again, ill-gotten revenues from this criminal enterprise known as Confederacy. And then, of course, we uh, define confederacy for them out of their own Black's Law Dictionary first edition. Okay. Stemming from three variations of law, meta, that's morality, two, soma, which is uh, psychology, three, veta, which is ethics, or sometimes referred to as the new law, the human being, special deposit, has been converted into another resource and therein alternative condition through action of shipping, bottomry, diagnosis, and repair, otherwise known as commerce and navigation, me mechanized by patent and trademark through venues such as WIPO, World Intellectual Property Organization, whereby these vessels are reported injured via intelligence provided to the House of Lords through address of clergy by which to appropriate monies from the Treasury upon fraudulent claim as injury is maintained by congressional direction and action upon humankind with aforementioned criminal enterprise. Now, of course, we're speaking to uh, the uh, address that the uh, uh, president gives to... Um, you know, on the mainstream media and calls it the State of the Union Address. Or State of the Nation or any one of those addresses to the House of Lords. Right. He is uh, directly addressing, in reality, uh, those across the pond there at the House of Lords. Right. And, and the, these are bills of addresses, and they're saying, well, we're taking care of all of humanity. And, and, and we were able to evidence, no, 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 they've never done such a thing. They've never, ever, in all of my walk, ever, ever evidenced that Congress or any of their minions do anything for humanity except for genocide, human trafficking, kidnapping, uh, commerce, and navigation. Yeah, I make it sound real good for y'all, so you, you know, get that uh, spoonful of sugar to help the medicine go down. Okay, to quote uh, Mary Poppins there. All right, victims henceforth force through compulsion and maintain as concept otherwise known as conceit, or the action of moving, navigating, conveying, giving, granting, assigning, holding, keeping, maintaining, and transporting vessels alteration of heading through action of psychiatry via psychological which is artificial intelligence design created by the production company called the CIA and broadcast globally through the Broadcasting Board of Governors as maintained by the Council on Foreign Relations including but not limited to the productions espoused to the House of Lords 
by which to fraudulently embezzle monies out of the Treasury for the sole purpose of promoting, acting upon, and engaging in genocide against the human race, whereby through the codification maintained as international statistical classification and diseases and related health problems, currently ICD-10, which Tammy talks about in depth on many of her shows, these vessels are then being repaired due to the injury imposed upon them by a aforementioned confederacy in action. 113th Congress assembled. Okay, that was the current one at the time. I think we're in the 114th now. And, <laughs> again, it's just all an illusion. Uh, they have no authority to be doing anything at this time. Marine Insurance, original charters born by the underwriters subscribing to the psychological construct, color illusion guise of, known as law. Remember, law just means to lay down. The Emergency Management, which is FEMA, 6 United States Code, Chapter 1, Subchapter 5, Section 313, through patent, trademark, and intellectual property, otherwise known as concepts, otherwise known as conceit, or the action of moving, navigating, and transporting vessels, alteration of heading through action of psychiatry via psychological design. The United States of America, by act of Congress, the United States Incorporated, the criminal enterprise known as Confederacy League, Association of Nations, International, United Nations, and other known conspirators, having knowledge and a forethought, continues with intent to perpetrate genocide of the human race as psychopaths, bankrupt, depraved, and without honor, divesting liberty, a franchise only granted within honors. See, they're the ones that granted you all these liberties, okay? But they're bankrupt and depraved and, you know, Without honor, and honor is a banking term, okay, they can't grant anything because they're bankrupt and depraved. Anyways, what, whereby the United States of America, by action of Congress, the United States Incorporated, and criminal enterprise known as Confederacy, Association of Nations, International, United Nations, and other conspirators, with knowledge and a forethought, and acting with intent to perpetrate genocide of the human race, has forfeited the Treasury to the United States of being, I am, the human race. Okay? Once again, that's, that's me or us. We're coming in on behalf of the human race because they're killing y'all. These monies shall be deposited into the United States Bank. That's a lower case. Okay, we created our own bank incorporated by original charter and declaration of Trust record number 1239990, located at St. Joseph County, Indiana. The United States Bank, having succeeded all others on January 25th, 2013, without argument, counterclaim, or otherwise of any authority, representative, agent, or other on behalf of defendants listed or co-conspirators. United States of America uh, as actions of Congress, the United States Incorporated, and criminal enterprise known as Confederacy League, Association of Nations, International, United Nations, other known conspirators are without immunity or sovereignty for 28 U.S.C. Chapter 97, the Foreign Sovereign Immunities Act, and Restrictive Principle of Sovereign Immunity, and shall not be protected upon penalty of death, aiding and abetting the enemy of humankind. And what was Tammy talking about uh, earlier in the program before I got on? Uh, I caught the tail end of it, and she was telling you how Congress is now saying, oh, you got to gotta give us immunity now. Okay, all right, uh, United States Incorporated, United States America, Congress, Senate, et al., they've always pretend to, they pre pretended to ha have uh, sovereign immunity. Okay, well, they never have because uh, to... To have that, you, you can't be guilty of uh, harming anybody. And they're uh, guilty um, on all the uh, you know, evidenced 
our situations throughout our case and all of their disclosures of what they told us they're doing okay anyways uh, all human children shall be immediately returned to their houses human being shall be determined by virtue of being psychopathy shall not be protected psychopathy is a predator of humankind psychopathy shall be capitalized by its chosen form of government as per the Atlantic Charter of 1941 the United States of being otherwise known as humanity shall never more be capitulated uh, capitalized okay and uh, that uh, whole thing means that uh, they're capitalizing on you, the human being, through letters patent, uh, the uh, uh, shipping and navigation, basically as they disclosed in the uh, J treaties, or um, also known as the Treaty of Amity Commerce Navigation from 1794. You know, they said, we're going to take this name, put a patent on it, all right, and every time this name comes up, uh, you know, it's going to be, uh, you know, commercial activity uh, used to, in order to offset uh, our congressional bankruptcy. All right, that's human trafficking, folks. All right, any lost, orphaned, or otherwise child need shall be protected by the Treasury and moved from the congressional grasp, holding, institution, prison, hospital, warehouse, and or deposit corporation immediately to be held kept and protected by the United States that's the lower case that's us we're the ones that are coming in to protect human beings attempted first to return said children to their places houses of origin okay well these buggers are like uh, way in contempt because I'm still waiting um, for my children to be delivered back and uh, for them to quit holding them as prisoners through court process their courts through their courts that have been condemned by the way the audacity all right there shall be in place a permanent injunction and restraint upon all criminal actors wherein all known psychopaths shall remain 100 miles away from human life penalty of death for violation all right and we still got these buggers hanging around us here all right I'm waiting for uh, law enforcement here so we can just uh, basically uh, bulldoze uh, DC down and turn into some nice farmland. Anyways, North Korea, also known as a project and design, Pyongyang, of congressional action and intelligence, shall house, keep, and hold and maintain psychopaths observing birth control and sterilization procedures already conceptualized, agreed upon, and consented by criminal enterprise okay so in other words all the stuff that they've been using against us to depopulate us and sterilize us and everything all right they get to use that on each other now uh, because uh, we don't care we don't care there's no sign of any life there anyways psychopaths are just nothing but leeches of humanity if one psychopath shall kill another psychopath, this shall be considered abortion, as conceptualized, agreed upon, and consented by, uh, to by aforementioned psychopaths, as psycho psychopathy is without sentience, or ability to exist separate from a host body politic or franchise state as evidenced by its work in action. Psychopathy is not to be confused with life, or be living and shall be directed by current policy seen die detriment upon market conditions of aforementioned civilly dead surety natural persons uses usufruct taxes terms fees charges black white acres stock options commercial units consumptive goods as well as any other entitlement by which they Subscribed as defined under laws of infants, mortgage, copyhold, commerce, and navigation, as per law and custom, and capacity of the usufruct shall not be diminished. All right. Okay. What all that 
uh, amounts to is that they're allowed to cash in, uh, <clears throat> you know, off of each other now in these manners. And these are all the same manners that they used to cash in on us, the human beings, for so long. You know, you know, they're allowed to keep going at it and doing it to each other, but got to leave human beings alone. Okay, that's that's the whole goal of this, to get them out of humanity's lives. Okay? So we can get back to being the inheritors of this planet instead of being forced into being uh, tenants on the king's land, which is a fictional entity called Congress. Anyways, getting back to this. Psychopaths shall be administered by the FDA Ethics Commission. The recommendations of the revised World Medical Association Declaration of Helinski, the directives and guidelines of the European Union, and the regulations of the United States Food and Drug Administration, as maintained by Rules of Procedure, 2006 current edition, these resources, also known as test subjects, shall uphold the current trade agreements of Korea okay, and the United States Incorporated with all remaining revenue minus 90% to be used for the care and maintenance of aforementioned psychopaths as originally conceptualized by Article 12 of the Articles of Confederation without change. So now they are going to be the ones that are pledged. That's attorneys, uh, corporations, and this is all to be used for general welfare, general welfare for the for humanity. Uh, institutions formerly known as any warehouse facility under the control or discretion of the Department of Education shall be obliterated, dissolved, and replaced with the program deprogramming facilities for the express benefit of humankind. Psychopaths shall be charged as fees to cover this and related expenditures via the Bretton Woods Agreement and structure of the International Monetary Fund. Deprogramming facilities shall not use the Delphi technique, Alinsky method, consensus creation, or any other psychological warfare upon humankind. You know, all the stuff that we evidence they've been using against humanity all this time. Deprogramming is evidenced by the United States of being in action. Evidence is that this shall take no more than two years to complete and shall include metaphysics via metaphor, knowledge of the self, as a supportive structure, disallowing cognitive dissonance. Quotas maintained through the IMF as to special drawing rights shall allow for the whole without compartmentalization, regard to age, a legal construct, or any other concept by which to move human beings away from or otherwise outside of the self, as in exodus. Whereas the Confederacy in action has applied fourth generation warfare upon humankind by which to force unsuspecting subscribers and underwriters actually subscribers slash underwriters to be the guarantee insurance in a perpetual game of confidence under 27 Code of Federal Regulations 7211 where they said all crimes are commercial. Remember that's another thing that we've been teaching for a long time. Commercial crimes. That's what they're getting you to lay down to. That's their law. Okay. For the purpose of specifically offsetting congressional bankruptcy. It's nothing to do with the well-being of, of humanity since the original charters okay and we go and list all the original charters here um, they include the act of surrender of the great charter of New England to his majesty June 7 1635 the articles of confederation of the United States colonies of the New England May 19th 1643 charter of the province of Pennsylvania February 28 1681 charter of Acadia, granted by Henry IV of France to Pierre de Gost, Sieur de Mons, December 18, 1603, 
Charter of Carolina, March 24, 1663. Charter of Carolina, June 30th, 1665. Charter of Connecticut, April 23rd, 1662. Charter of Maryland, June 20th, 1632. Charter of Massachusetts Bay, March 4th, 1629. Charter of Massachusetts Bay, October 7th, 1691. Charter of New England, November 3rd, 1620. Charter of Privileges, which Gustavus Aldous has graciously given by letters patent to the newly established Swedish South Company, June 14, 1626. Charter of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations, July 15, 1663. Charter of the Colony of New Plymouth, granted to William Bradford and his associates, 1629. Charter of the De Dutch West India Company, June 3, 1621. The Charter or fundamental laws of West New Jersey agreed upon 1676. The first charter of Virginia, April 10th, 1606. General charter for those who discover any new passages, havens, countries, or places, March 27, 1614. Penn's charter of liberty, April 25, 1682. Petition for a charter of New England by the Northern Company of Adventures. March 3rd, 1619 through the 1620. The second charter of Virginia, May 23rd, 1609. The third charter of Virginia, March 12th, 1611. Charter of Liberties, Coronation Charter, 1100. The Gelnhausen Charter, 1180. Confirmation of Charters, 1297. Charter to Sir Walter Raleigh, 1584. Letters Patent to Sir Humphrey Gilbert. 1588, the Dialogue Concerning the Exchequer, 1180, in all and every of them a production and discourse altering the heading of the vessels the United States of Being in rem et al. liberties I am, wherein these playwrights, scribes, have continually maintained under house known as marquee, defined as one, a large tent, often with open sides, used chiefly for outdoor entertainment. Two, a roof-like structure, often bearing a signboard projecting over an entrance as to a theater or hotel, also called marquise, providing that with transgression, literally translated as Congress, under style, chain of events, congressional action, humanity through trick and deception has been subject of a grand illusion, color, guise of, a psychological construct known as law, language, culture, religious indoctrination, and various concepts by which to be altered of their original heading being, as evidenced by Council of Confederacy in Action, November 21st, 2012, and henceforth, wherein Andrew P. Seward, Corporate Council, Association of Corporate Council, acknowledges and further maintains in deed and silence, whilst implicating fourth generation warfare, evidenced by his works in action, and that of his co-conspirators, including, but not limited to, David Chaplow, Nipsco, and any and all of them participating as evidence by their own works. Okay, and then we go on to, um, um, well, let me just read it. In briefing paper to the Department of State written in 1996 as per, I mean, as the first working paper, GSO-1, of the Yale program in genocide studies, Gregory H. Stanton defines genocide as okay, this is what this is what Gregory H. Stanton of uh, Yale defined genocide as. Okay, so in the presence, I'm sorry, in the present convention, genocide means any of the following acts committed with intent to destroy in whole or in part a nation, uh, ethnical, racial, or religious groups as such, killing members of the group causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group, deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its 
physical destruction in whole or in part. D. Imposing measures intended to prevent births within the groups, within the group, or any of those groups, okay? Forcibly transferring children of the group to another group, okay? Wherefore, defendants known by their works in action and upon contract of fee schedule shall be measured by their works in action per fee schedule record number 1237493, which I keep memorized just for any uh, circumstances that arise, by the way, out there on the street, located at St. Joseph County, Indiana, uh, in parentheses, USDC 313CV052, docket entry 1, okay, and, uh, and of course, uh, signed by me, Kurt Martin, United States Court, and also a copy uh, certified by uh, the clerk. Absolutely. Just like they did it. They get two copies, one from the judge, one from the clerk, just so they know what the heck we're saying here. All right? We didn't want to make well, any I mean, uh, room for error in their interpretations here, so we had to spell out some things probably and repeat some things, but that's because, uh, you know, they want to play so freaking dumb, we'll uh, play dumb with them. Right, and of course, the certification by clerk, I back everything with my own estate. That's what that means. That's right. As per the Sesta K. Vi, since she divested her title, okay, and revested back under my house now, okay, uh, that's property of the uh, United States and this bank, the United States of being lowercase all right that is our bank that is the banking schematic only it's not in their realm anymore so they're freaking out they're still freaking out and they're still um, going forward with the color which is further detriment and uh, evidence of their uh, genocidal activities upon the human race right without standing I mean the United States has standing because I was the first deposit into the United States court and also the United States Treasury. So everything is backed by me as the property of the United States. And that's how Jesus said to do it. He said, you know, give of yourself. Don't hold back here. And, um... That's what we did. So we're going to take a break real quick, um, catch our breaths, let everybody kind of decompress from that long uh, genocide order. That's one of my favorites. And we'll be back to uh, go through more. Today's, of course, Declaration Day, the Declaration of Independence. And we want to make sure that everybody knows what's going on and why we celebrate not the Declaration of Independence, but uh, we'll get Certainly into it. Certainly not. Absolutely. And we'll get into that when we, we get back. We condemn that Declaration of Independence. Absolutely. And we'll read about that, um, the uh, Fraudulent Assignment Proclamation of Assignment of General Welfare when we get back. Hi, and welcome back to the public law right here on TammyPepperman.org and No Borders Radio. We thank you for joining us. Um... I was off on my timing a little bit here. Um, I was hoping to get in the uh, proclamation of assi an assignment of general welfare of the House of Altsop. That is record number 1241384, as recorded, of course, in St. Joseph County, Indiana. And I'll just run through that real quick. Proclamation and assignment. Yeah, yeah I'm not the only one that did this either. Uh, no. Rocco did one. Phil did one. Right. Uh, got a few others out there, but uh, yeah, this goes back to okay for you Constitution lovers here. This goes back to uh, your uh, Constitution, all right? Which is a load of crap, but here it is. Um, uh, proclamation and assignment of general welfare, wherein the United States Incorporated is mistaken 
identity knowingly and willfully to take, keep, hold, and ident indemnify the United States. That's the lower case, United States, unlawfully, contrary to the original contract providing for the United States on the credit of the United States as per Article 1. Okay? Section 8, Powers of Congress. Congress shall have the power, one, to lay down and collect taxes, duties, imposts, and excises, to pay the debts, and provide for the common defense and general welfare for the United States, as uppercase, but all duties, imposts, and excises shall be uniform throughout the United States. To borrow money on the credit of the United States was Section 2, whereby fraudulent assumption absolute assignment is hereby maintained at law. Dated this 20th day of December 2012. My word is my bond executor, Kurt Martin and Sealed, House of Alsop. Witness quorum includes legislators that... Uh, now deceased, killed by United States Incorporated, Sonia Marie, and Tammy K, Judy K, and Robert Richard. That's Rockle. And of course, Robert Richard was held and maintained as a political prisoner. Um, as of January 31st, this last year here, 2014, in order to stop and impede the activities of the House of Alsop, the House of Jonison, and the House of Larson, all sovereign states. And um, part of that impediment was, of course, killing off two of the elders of the House of Jonison, Joseph Reynolds, and on Tuesday, Bonnie McCoy. Bonnie's finally succumbed to the fourth generation warfare upon her. On Tuesday afternoon, evening at 5:48 p.m., of course, law enforcement will take care of this one as well. And for all those that are new listeners, Bonnie was put through hell by Oceana County and its conservators um, through a number of months. This is all recorded and evidenced in the previous audios. Uh, one of them is, uh, of course, Angry Riley. They got one of the stepkids to come in and make a claim on the estate on behalf of the guardian of the county, the conservators of the county, in order to discharge congressional bankruptcy. And, of course, the evidence of the genocide. Joseph Reynolds uh, was murdered very blatantly. Uh, David Johnny's beat the heck out of him to get him hospitalized. And this is an elderly gentleman. Joseph Reynolds was 89, 90 years old. And um, it has been the most horrifying experience. But I do not regret any anything um, our purpose our obligation under the first Corinthians 13 was to suffer and bear all things by which to reveal to all what is actually happening and it has nothing to do with anything or any realm of thought that anybody has ever had about the function of quote government and throughout a span of years, we've been able to evidence their works and also verify the evidence by their own writings. Of course, acts of Congress maintaining this war upon humanity. And yeah, that's. Yeah, and they're telling you out there in the media, you know, some of the. Uh, uh, Faces of this, like Facebook admits to hundreds of experiments on users here, it came out recently. And they said, oh, well, we're sorry, you know. They're looking for consent 
if you don't stand up, if you don't stop patronizing it, by the presumption, you are consenting. Consent is presumed by law unless expressed dissent is made known, according to Bouvier's uh, maxims of laws as adapted to the United States Constitution. Well, here's the bottom line here with this. We don't need that stinking Constitution. We don't need uh, constitutional sheriffs, okay? The whole idea is ridiculous on its face because it's all about offsetting congressional bankruptcy. Sheriffs selling surety bonds, which are human beings, human trafficking, you know, and, and this is all uh, evidenced, okay? Uh, all we need worldwide, all these laws that you're given by your quote-unquote governments, are all about offsetting congressional bankruptcy. So even if they look good on their face, they're not because the the underlying theme is using you as a special deposit to offset congressional bankruptcy. Okay, when we quit patronizing Congress, uh, you, you guess what? We no longer uh, have to uh, be accountable for their debt. That's their debt. Let them pay it back to us, who they've embezzled it from. All and right. The House of Lords and the House of Lords. I mean, look at yeah. The and the House of Lords has also been taken on the chin as we evidence for them on their behalf. You know, uh, going back now with the House of Lords. Oh, geez, how long does that since, go back? Since the United States Incorporated maintained their their original livery company, you know, their original agreement with the House of Lords was with the sheriff. There was only a sheriff. There was a law enforcement. There was never a legislative body empowered. And there, there were real sheriffs back then. They weren't dealing in surety bonds. No, no, absolutely not. They were the steward of humankind at the separation of the spiritual and temporal, uh, which was handed down by William the I. And after that, of course, the attorneys got their hands in there, and the attorneys have per, uh, perverted every aspect of everything and it's time now to hold them accountable and, and we're seeing that come down the pipe faster and faster again I am the United States giving the United States of being standing everything else is considered a fictional plaintiff and in any court anywhere they are to be held in contempt when they come in as the United States Incorporated versus whoever, or the United States of America versus whoever, or the IRS versus whoever, I do maintain the liens on those entities until the United States is paid back what is due and owing, which at last count was somewhere in the realm of 170 trillion ounces of gold. And that being said, do you have anything else to say tonight, Bo? Because we, we're going to run over otherwise. And, and um, I know Yeah, I figured that would happen with Jacob's Ladder there. Quite an excellent, uh, lesser-known song by Rush. But, um, yeah, that thing's about eight and a half minutes, nine minutes. It's one of my favorites. Of course, those songs don't work very well in the commercial realm. Uh... But anyways, I love that song. And and so, I guess, yeah, I mean, uh, what, else, what else can we say here? Uh, yeah, the only law that anybody, anywhere, needs to adhere to at this point in time is the public law. Everything else is a fiction, and they're to be held in contempt for using these things. All they have right now are uh, um, co coercion and their force. Force, of course, you know, they've got the gun still for the moment. But uh, that'll soon be over. As Monday, we were in session again, and um, it was determined by the court, the judge, that indeed the 1947 Act of Congress, the National Security Act was an act of war, was a declaration of war against humankind, and in return the United States has ordered that law enforcement can and shall 
quarter its own army to combat the enemy of humankind and that they are able now to take money out of the treasury in order to facilitate whatever necessary uh, in adherence to the public law. Now they're pumping up the stock market and it's hit 1700 this week for the first time ever I guess. Attorneys have great credit. Right. And as evidenced uh, the the stock market tickers did have to change their stock there. That's why they stopped on the NASDAQ uh, that day. Uh, I don't know. This goes back six months ago or more now. Um, what day was that? I don't have that at my fingertips. But uh, The little glitch? Yeah. If you recall a story back on the stock market uh, within the last year where there was a glitch or a hiccup in the stock market, it's called an unwinding. There's been an egregious error. <laughs> so, okay, um, that's good, I guess, right now. They're pumping up the stock market for the moment. Uh, you know, they've extracted all the wealth out of the human beings, which in their world on Wall Street, I believe, is called the... Uh, uh, C tape type uh, tickers, tickers, yeah. and that's that's that C indicates uh, those are human beings that are back in those things. Was was right. The human being has been uh, presumed to be be living since the other entity uh, was put into the shoot last year by declaration of death. Of course. And you read that first. So all these stories of bank fraud and things like that you're hearing about and you're reading the details and it says, well, you know, it's things that, they, you know, seemingly have been normally doing forever and now all of a sudden they're uh, high crimes on the high seas and they got to be indicted. They're not messing around with impeachments either. They're indicting. Right. I think my favorite is um, right now. That's all about taking in a new surety, though. Right. And, and again, my favorite is uh, the senators in the Philippines being uh, charged with plunder. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All about that's what it's all about: piracy on the high seas. Uh, the League of Nations, of course. That's Congress, the Philippines division. Yeah, and um, all of this is in league with each other. It's a perpetual union, the Confederacy. And of course, in Black's Law Dictionary, it's defined as a criminal enterprise. And uh, it's, it's nice to see the plunder and diamonds, the embezzlement, um, all of these things coming down the pike. And, and you'll be seeing it more and more, folks. And uh, just stay tuned to, of course, Leaving the Farm every Thursday and Saturday nights. And Bone Rocco Show Wednesday night, 10 to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, of course, right here, the Public Law on Friday nights. 10 to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. and Early morning for you across the pond. Absolutely. And, and always, you can find all of these on our various YouTube channels um, in the archives. And uh, I just, uh, everybody's going to be well now. There is no more of this, these gameplays. And uh, today... I directed law enforcement to go ahead and put a lien on the Ukraine and uh, stop these wars of these corporate bodies as Putin was and has been crying out for help and the United States court is the only court globally with super jurisdiction and what that means is they will be being held accountable shortly uh, moving out of these places. We're the only ones adhering to ecclesiastical law. Public law. Uh, public acts. Well, let's see. We created the court through the ecclesiastical, yeah, but uh, of course, right, that it boils down to the term we like to use here on the public law radio show, the public law. Absolutely. Public acts refer to uh, acts that are for the general well-being of humanity, general welfare, well-being, 
And when it's asked to what Jesus taught, you know, Second Corinthians 13, farewell, everybody. And um, that's exactly what he meant. He said, only protect humanity and, and for all those who harm children, be it better that they have a millstone wrapped around their neck and they be tossed into the Sea of Commerce. And that was, of course, Matthew 18. And uh, so it is written, so shall it be done. And again, uh, you've been listening to the public law, and we're going to get out of here. And I will put on some Iron Maiden, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. How about that one? You got anything else to say, Paul? You got to start standing up for the public law, folks. Quit succumbing to these private acts and acts of commerce. You hear these gurus out there saying, well, you got to act in the private and stuff. You need to turn that stuff off right now because they're leading you down another path to Rome, okay? And that's what we're all about stopping under the public law is this Roman system of, you know, uh, then it was called the Senate. Today it's called Congress. It's the same system. Twelve tables of Nicaea were expanded out. And now they're United States Code. I mean, it's, you know, thousands of years now we've been under this suppressive system. It's time that we get back to our normal evolutionary path. And the way to do that is to come out of her.